Welcome to the urinary system model. This is a kidney. This is a kidney. This one has cut open with a cross section. So in here we can see the idea of pyramids of the renal pelvis and we can see the renal artery and the renal vein. So delivering blood, taking blood. In red, this is the abdominal aorta. In blue, this is the inferior vena cava. Sitting on top of the kidney we have the adrenal glands, which we previously covered in the endocrine system. Remember they had several different zones, and then the medulla inside, and different hormones were produced in each of those different layers. The pelvis ends in the ureter, and the ureter is going to go to the bladder. Now, that is the bladder, but I want to point out that this is the anterior side. This is the pubic symphysis that we see here. This split in the aorta represents our common iliacs and then our external iliac arteries and veins. Now when we turn this around, we're now looking at the posterior side. This is the bladder. Down here, this is a male model and this beak-like structure that we see is the prostate. And yes, I, of course, would turn this into a bird head, although you might think about it as being an insect head. This does come apart, but it takes some careful separation. And then we can see this structure that really looks like a head. So in yellow, we have the prostate. These peachish um, eye-like structures are the seminal vesicles. So we're seeing one, two. Remember, this is the posterior side. These eyebrow-like structures are the vas deferens, or ductus deferens. So that would be delivering material from the testes and epididymis up here. And again, this is the ureter. So this is the hole for the second ureter here. This almost hair-like looking striped appearance to this represents detrusor muscle on the outside of the kidney, uh, on the outside of the bladder, sorry. Kidneys were up higher. Now, on the inside here, this area that is striped in nature and triangular in shape is called the trigon. This is part of the bladder that is actually fixed in location. The rest of the bladder has the ability of expanding and contracting, depending on how much urine it's holding. And then in the middle of the prostate here, we have the urethra, which is draining the kidney. And that would be our urinary system model. Thank you for listening.